How's it been? Uh, how's it been learning the PC? Like you know, being back. Bro, so from coming it. from Xbox, because I remember you doing Xbox a lot, right? And like, Bro. You, like you, yeah. your Switch was like so like quick though. You know what I mean? I gotta say, it's a sharp learning curve, dude. Like Xbox to PC was a fucking jump. Cause I saw, all right, so I started playing like with a monitor on my Xbox, mm -hmm. and like I saw how much better the gameplay was, and I was like, bro, like this is awesome. And so my cat broke my fucking monitor, dude. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? And th this sucks. And so like, like a year later, I get a PC. Wait, are we? Are we starting? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I didn't know we were already started. That's what's mm -hmm. up. Cool. It's, what like, up? Pre, it's pre show. It's pre show. Like a little. All right, bad pre show BS. shit. I see. I like. I was like. I feel like we should save this, but we're starting. We're already started. No, I'll, I'll get logistics <laughs> out of the way. But continue about your cat. All right. Yeah, I got you. Got you. So fucking my cat breaks like my uh, my monitor back when I'm using it with my Xbox, and then like a year later I get a computer, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm back on the monitor gaming. I, I missed how like much better it made me at Rocket League because I feel like you can just. I don't know, everything moves faster, you know, when you're watching, like, the frames at a higher rate. And, like, that was no problem. I play most of my, like, PC games on controllers still. I got, like, three controllers sitting, like, literally, like, within, like, reaching distance. Actually, I'm sorry, I was lying. I got four <laughs> controllers sitting within reaching distance, like, mm -hmm. literally. Um, I need more controllers. Which are broken, which is why I have so many controllers. <laughs> I just bought this one the other day. It's a Type-C, by the way, which fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. I have wow, a Type-C charger. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, so, uh, yeah, I started, like, you know, playing on my PC. I still use controller for everything, and it's, like, no hitch whatsoever. Discord took me, like, a year to figure out just, like, the mic settings, dude. Like, the, the driver install for, like, half the shit that I'm doing took me a while to figure out. And then when I finally figured out all this shit, my PC's like, yo, bro, like, you're out of space. And I was like, oh, shit, like... I guess I, I didn't know enough about the specs that I was going to need, really. Like, there's a couple games that I wish I just had, like, a like the next tier up of graphics card. You know what I mean? Like, just minor shit here and there. Like, I get, like, a little bit of lag in a couple games that I'm like, if I just got a slightly better graphics card, we're fine. Other than that, though, bro, I love PC. PC is life. I come into this room more than I go into, like, any other room in my house because mm -hmm. I'm always just, like, on my computer now. Yeah. I make, you know, I'm going to some shit. But, uh, well, that's good. I mean, I'm going to say I, I remember coming over before we you know get into starting and everything before before we go on to uh the podcast uh i remember coming over a lot and just hopping on the xbox and us chilling and playing overwatch you know or like you know watching y'all play rocket league or whatever game is hot at the moment you know and we would just sit there for hours you know and just chill and and fucking and game and then i remember just you being an xbox boy like being grown up and i remember anyone i met like throughout high school i was like oh xbox or playstation what you doing like what what type of person are you and it said a lot to just, me anytime i met an xbox all right dude. all right all right i'm gonna i'm gonna indulge into this for the podcast so i can just talk about shit man okay go ahead. i fucking hate playstation i've had a playstation Fuck before you. there's nothing wrong hang on just wait just wait just hear me out hear me, hear me out i don't hate the console bro i love the console i had a playstation 2 i had a playstation like the original playstation bro i played the shit out of those one, I stayed over at my mom's house because it was like a family PlayStation because we had like Dance Dance yeah. Revolution and my yeah, sisters loved to play that shit, but it was basically like that I was played the PS3. every other fucking game. Yeah. yeah. Well, or, yeah, whatever. It was, it was probably the PS3. Um, either way, fucking, uh, it has like this dancing game. My sisters loved to play it and like, you know, that was like, it was a community PlayStation. Every other game I owned, it was me. It was like racing games. I had this cool like paintball game. Like I love my PlayStation. I played my old Spider-Man. No, it's PlayStation 2 because I played the old Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2. That shit was fucking pristine but the reason i hate playstation is because of exclusive games bro that's it like that's the only reason like the fact that like the actual company makes games like spider-man's that i can't play on my xbox now like pisses me off and you're wondering like well, why'd you switch in the first place uh it stayed over at my mom's house in the summer and she had this dog and i came over like the next summer after you know just expecting to like full-on nerd it out a whole summer on my playstation nothing but and i'm like where's my playstation at and my sister's like, oh, yeah, like, the dog peed on it. And, like, it doesn't work anymore. Oh, I'm my. Like, okay, well, where, where's my new PlayStation? Like, fucking, like, what All right, well, did y'all get me a new one? Like, <laughs> I was like, fuck? I was like, mom, like, I know you have the money and resources to fix this right now. Like, go to the store. I obviously had no concept of money. I'm, like, a fucking teenager. And I'm like, this doesn't make sense to me. Mom, I need this is absurd. Take me home. <laughs> I have an no. Xbox at home. That's funny. The only reason bro. I had an Xbox, too, was because I got it, like, the Christmas prior. It was just, like, fate. I, I never touched it. Mm. I never used my Xbox. It was PlayStation all day. But now, having, like, seen both, 
First of all, it's like PC Master Race. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go with Xbox because they give me like all these options yeah. of indie games and shit. And they don't like, you know, they don't keep games away from mm. me. Fuck PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. I want to play God of War. I want to play Spider Man. I can't play them on PC or Xbox. You can that's play God of War now. Now you can. Now you can. But that's like, that's, that's new. A, you know what I mean? That's the thing. The, that's the thing. We'll get into that here in a bit. Let's just start it. What's going on? Welcome to the podcast. It's your boy Nikki J here. I'm here with my good friend Soda Jock. Uh, he's an up and coming artist, uh, creator out of Fort Worth. Um, you know, just making his own little brand, and um, th- we did really good on the first episode. Let me just say that. You know, thank y'all for the uh, support. Uh, granted, you know, like I said, I didn't know how serious this is gonna be, but you know, my boy here, uh, Soda Jock, but I will call him Samson. Uh, was like, hey man. Hey man, I want to get on the pop. I want to get on the podcast, and I was like, "Yeah, let's." I, I could see because from our few conversations that we've had, we've literally sat there and I talk a lot. <laughs> well, not the fact that you talk a lot, but but our conversation, the topic of our conversation, gets pretty good though too. We get we've gotten pretty deep sometimes, you know. We talked so. about some pretty interesting shit. Remember that one time, like you were over here, and like I was like, I figured it'd be like a little ten minute interaction. Yeah, man, yeah, we started talking about like the Life. concept of reality and shit. And I'm like, bro, it's been like two yeah. hours. The concept of reality and shit like that, like like people and how they prerequisite to like really diving into this. Should I have like a filter on? Is there something I should avoid saying? Just any any like no, don't talk about this category. Um. Well, I mean, I like that. I wanna, I wanna let it be known that I try not to censor anyone uh, here. Obviously, due to, shit. Uh, due to the last podcast, but like obviously, I'm gonna go through edit edit shit if I need to. All right, keep the fuck censorship. That's but my only, that's but my uh, point. yeah, no, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't really care about talking about like politics or anything like that because I don't fuck politics because I don't. I don't understand quite it, and also it's just like you can never pick sides, you know. I mean, for me, it's like for me to talk politics, it almost implies that like I believe in government, so I'm just not going to yes, talk exactly. politics. Like it's just not what I talk about. You know what politics is for me? Hmm. You know, that's it's it's side A, side B. It's blood, it's Bloods and Crips. It's just a bunch of fucking Caucasians wanting to be amateur gangsters because what they are is legal gangsters. Fucking Republicans, Democrats, one side versus the other side. I always talk about this whole unity, United States. There is no un- unification if we're if we're doing this politics bullshit in this political system. Yeah, I mean, there's 50 states. A lot of those are, you know, a lot bigger than other. And there's a lot of fucking people within all of those states, man. America is a really fucking big place. And you're gonna tell me that like there's only two opinions, like there's side A or there's side B on like most situations. And you're gonna tell me like, oh, regardless of each category that I may feel, you know, I have a certain opinion on this subject or a certain opinion on this subject. And then like, there's gonna be somebody that's gonna represent what every single one of those for every single thing that I want to have represented for me. Mm-hmm. And that person might not even get fucking elected. Cause like, I'm just one yeah. vote and there's a lot of fucking other people that think other shit. Like, I don't know. Uh, th- that's, don't. that's why I said, <clears throat> you know, that's what it is to me. I find it really corny. Like, obviously I'm young. You know, and it's important, I understand, but also at the same time, you know, I got a lot of other shit on my own mind. I'm trying to figure out my life, and obviously there's a bigger play to life whenever it comes to this politics shit, anytime we talk about it. Because, yeah, I mean, it it does affect our personal lives, but, you know, at the same time, I'm just like, uh, I'm trying to get my own personal shit figured out right now before I... Yeah, I feel that, but I, I, I feel like... I used to care about politics like a bunch like it used to be like the center of my world like oh my god this is happening in this part of the world and it's like something should change that this is horrible and it's because i had mr man and you know mr man like, throw a stapler shout out. like he's a pretty radical teacher shout out to mr man shout out mr man uh, and like i don't know i just remember like hearing about shit and thinking like wow something should really be done about this and feeling like almost inspired to like want to make a difference and then like the first time i tried to do something to make a difference it went absolutely terrible <laughs> and then i was like well fuck this um afterwards i thought you know maybe i'll d- 
dedicate and devote my life towards it. I remember I was talking at a, like a family Christmas one time. My uncle was talking to me, and he was like, I was like 17. I think I was like about to be 18. I hadn't graduated high school yet. And we were just like bantering back and forth. And I was kind of giving him like my stance and my thoughts on about a lot of shit that was going on. And he's like, why don't you try and like, you know, get involved and like do shit and follow careers that are like, you know, going to pursue shit like this. And I kind of thought about it like a lot after that. And I was like, that just sounds like such a fucking drag. Like, I don't, I don't ever envision myself like caring enough anymore i feel like i got so like numb to politics because it's like there's all just too much shit all the time well you know what that's that's the great thing about like uh like you said like you should go out there and go do something about it you know and you're like you know oh, gonna thanks. become like you know part of the supreme court justice system or whatever the bullshit you know you you go throughout all your years just mr fucking I love the law, Paul. Dude, anyone like that? Like that just kind of makes me like wonder. Like, they're, they're like it pisses me off that we have. Like that's what I'm saying. What, I'm gonna go back to what I was originally saying. The it's good that you don't have to do that because we have billions of other people that are t- trying to do that. For which us. sounds shitty because I mean truthfully it just sounds like like no, privilege is bleeding out of us because you know we don't have to deal with the shit so it's not our problem but well, at the same time it's like i just I, i'll i'll tell someone straight to their face if anyone would ever actually like address me about this like for example if in the future i have to deal with any backlash for this this is my answer for that it's not that i just don't give a shit it's that i truly feel like i am insignificant enough that it won't make a difference and so i'm like you know let's take a step back what else is going on you know what i mean like Sorry, I, I hate that these things go on. I wish I could make a difference. Yeah. That'd be fucking awesome, but till then. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um fuck this politics shit. Let's get off yeah. of this topic. Yeah, let's talk about some funny shit. That's why I can't. <laughs> let's do let's get the let's get an introduction out anyway. You know, here we are still uh, talking, but okay. you know, What's Soda up? Jock, tell them about yourself, you know. Tell so, them how you got the name Soda Jock, and also, yeah, let's do that first. How do you get Soda Jock? I'll start with how I got the name Soda Jock. So there's this cat. Uh, his name was Matthew Broman. This, and cat, this guy, are you, this cat, are you like forty? <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, sorry, I say a lot of dumb shit, and I gotta say that was, bro, that was weird. I'm just I, saying, I, like, I this cat that. is like a very old person term. I think that's like the first time I've ever said like this cat, dude, and, and you caught me, bro. It's like, all right, sorry, like, you caught me first try. Sorry, sorry. Um, so there's this gentleman. His yes. name was Matthew Broman, right? And maybe I should name drop like that. Sorry, Matthew. You can uh, do whatever you want. And we were playing Modern Warfare 3 back in the day. And it was me and like my best friend in the world. His name's Tyler. And we'd always like queue up with like a couple people we had like, you know, went to school with as well. It was like Rodrigo and Connor and shit. And this motherfucker was so nerdy. Like he was so good at modern warfare like it was insane right and i'd spend the weekends over at tyler's and we're playing shit like gun game right but we got split screen gun game going on you mm-hmm. know and we're playing like in like a it's local classic. lobby and shit and we're, we're trying to get like yeah we're trying to get matthew broman at this point because it's, we've gone on like a slew of like 50 games where we've just lost and this kid's just won and there's like eight of us in this lobby and he's won like every game so by the end of all of it i'm just like you know this. let's team i'm gonna tell you where i'm at you know you can see me on the screen i'm gonna i'm gonna call it out because it's a small map and you're gonna kill me and we're gonna win this like fuck matthew broman that's the plan right total bitch move i can like i can admit that you know i'm, I'm in my 20s now i can i can say that uh, that was total cop out but i just wanted to beat this motherfucker once even if it wasn't me yeah so i was trying to get tyler to win right we get like it's like a, it was like a 25 was the last gun, I think, something like that, right? Yeah, and, like, we're on, like, 23, and he just, like, the game ends. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I literally, I can't even throw purposely. And this guy is just constantly kicking our ass. And I'm like, how can I just piss him off? And so I needed to change my gamer tag because it was, like, I had, like, the default one, and I had never changed it. And I wanted to create something, you know? What was your default? Become something. <sighs> Bro. Oh, what was my like- default? How do you not remember your default name? Oh and- my god! No, 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 no. You, you might remember this. Do you remember? You know Hakeem, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Hakeem is a, is a former wrestling. Um, uh, he was, an he was in our he team. Was one of the, yeah, he was one of our you know, higher ups on our team. Buddy right? of ours. Uh, remember Good how wrestler. he used to call me a varsity status? It's because oh. when I was a freshman, bro, which, by the way, 
the only reason I ever made varsity as a freshman was because there was no one else near my weight class. Like, not above, not below, no one that could cut to it, no one that could gain to it. There was just me. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes that's the case, but continue. But as a freshman, not having like, wrestled before and just being egotistical as fuck like I've always been, I was like... Yeah, I'm on varsity. Like, fucking fuck with me. Like, you, you can't be on this level. I'm a freshman. I'm on varsity. I never. You don't even know how to wrestle. I changed my gamer tag. Like, varsity status 69. Va varsity <laughs> status 69 was your. Was I was your... like 14, bro, or some shit like that, right? And I was like, fucking just an, a goon for a year, right? That's not a bad name. I mean, but so also, what? Soda Jock. Continue on that. Oh no, no, we're getting that. We're getting to that. So I have this like horrible name that I want to change at some point, right? <laughs> And I've been thinking, like, what can I change it to? I want to change it to something that's, like, unique to me. And then, like, this Modern Warfare night happens where I'm just throwing. I'm trying so hard to have Matthew Broman feel the wrath of defeat just once. Just once. Just lose one fucking game. Yeah. And we, it doesn't happen. Like, he beats us, like, the entire night. He's just so cracked, right? And so, like, I'm on, the like, the chat with my boy Tyler, like, later in the week. And I'm just like, what the, like, what the fuck should I make my name? Matthew Broman's name? Point of the whole story? Soda Jock 13. So I changed my name to Soda Jock 12. Like permanently. And so every time we would join in the lobby, they're like, wait, because Soda Jock like 12. Uh, and okay. I, as I, I was just like, no, bro, All I was right. your first, bro. Look at the numbers, dude. This man's just, yeah. uh, he's just an addition. And I would, like, after that, this man like goes offline and I'm not even joking. I swear this man like never picked up his Xbox again. Like, literally, I have not game with that guy. And like, years since like around that time frame after that he just like stopped gaming went on with life i don't even know what the fuck he does anymore I, like i i know he went to central and then i know he like moved out of state don't even know where that guy's at never like mm -hmm. his old xbox profile always offline it's been offline mm -hmm. for like eight years and i'm like damn bro i really so like the, put this man out of commission so the real soda jock who knows where he's been look man i gotta say uh that this is one of the things about my persona uh like as just a person in general i i take something like a bit and I just run it to like its extremities. It may have oh, started like at that, a yeah. really like horrible origin of me just fucking with this kid, but I'm Soda Jock, baby. I'm the one and only. Like there's a Soda Jock 13, get the fuck out of here. Like oh, there's right. no other Soda Jock. Oh, there's right. a reason I made sure on all my new handles, because I just made all my handles, I made sure that I owned like Soda Jock. Like no point, no decimal, no nothing out. I had to make sure I got all that shit like yeah. out of the way first, because. Yeah, whenever it comes to uh... a website, actually. Uh, those website the websites are different but <clears throat> i will tell you like yeah when it comes to owning like your own brand and like you know trying to set something like that like to have your own name attached to like nikki j in itself like nikki j's gone through i think well my youtube in itself like ever since i started because I'm, if i'm gonna be honest with you here's a little bit of youtube lore i started trying to do youtube but that was like like with the phone up on like some textbooks and shit like in front of the the tv talking in front of the camera and playing a game of like modern warfare 2 or some shit and so that's what the first one it was so my first i believe and that was like years ago i haven't even tried to look it up now i should probably look it up before i dox myself hold on a second ah you're good bro you could um you could screen share it can't you through discord I can, yeah, but I don't know if I can find it. Hold on a second. Yeah, obviously there's someone else with the name, but when I started out, I was probably... <sighs> but this, obviously the channel's gone. Uh, the name I'm going to interrupt a... you really quick. I just got one question. What came uh, first, Nikki J or O Casual? I just want to know. Well, what... Uh, o Casual came before Nikki J, but... Um, <laughs> All right, all right. But uh, but when I was super young and when I was just you know to myself, just what because like all I would literally do is you know in like intermediate school or like coming out of elementary school, starting to learn about the internet, YouTube's around, so I'm learning about YouTube channels, watching uh, animated shit and like some video game clips. You know, like I like playing video games. I can watch video game stuff on YouTube, so I would go home and watch all that shit. I went by the name Italian Stallion. <laughs> so, That's great. Wait, did you coin that? Like you were just a straight Italian Stallion first first one? Yeah, but like nothing but like nothing really took off. Like videos obviously didn't take off. 
Nothing. No, I just I like name placement. I know, like you know what I mean. Like there's gonna be like Italian stallion one because they couldn't get it. To oh no, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I took that. I had it. I was the Italian stallion. That's clean. That's clean. But now I just check. Someone else has that name, so obviously they they're doing Probably. good though. So it's whatever. Probably. But uh, no, there's uh, there's. So what came first? If people don't know, really the beginning of the channel. Um, before Nikki J was Dat Gun, I uh, went by Dat Gun a lot, and oh my god! <sighs> okay, I'm back. You good, bro? I was All just right, sorry about that. Down. First, I know you're good. F- first interruption of the podcast. Um, nah, 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 nah. It's chill. Uh, it's so bad because I don't even remember what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> uh, I got, I gotta be honest. I took a hit and like said, "Fuck with some FL shit." Like I was pulling it up, so I don't remember either. God <laughs> bless. Wait, okay, hang on, hang on. I could probably put this together. Um, You're talking about, like, our personas and shit. Like, like you were talking oh, about building a brand gun. and shit. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Nikki J, I was Dat Gun. I was Dat Gun, right? Mm-hmm. So, um... I... <coughs> I coined Dat Gun off of, actually, the intro. Uh, to anyone actually, you know, wanted to know about Nikki J lore. Uh, I coined Dat Gun off of fucking... So the intro at the time when I I had tons of videos, bro. I've had tons of videos. Trust me, I probably would have maybe over a hundred something if I didn't take off like as many of the past, you know, one-off PlayStation edit videos that I did. I did a lot of those because there was an editing software built in on the PlayStation. So uh, anyway, uh, my intro was <coughs> what's going on? Or no, I said Mike check two one two one. What is going on, everyone? It is Dat Gun here. And that would be my intro for, like, a commentary on a topic, whatever it would be. You know, <clears throat> uh, at the time, commentary channels, when I, when I started trying to get really into YouTube, commentary channels were really booming. So, you know, topics about a viral video... But whenever it was a commentary channel, a commentary channel would normally have like some sort of gameplay footage in the background and and then it would roll the actual footage of what they're talking about, you know, of like, mm-hmm. you know, something like that. I had a couple of those up. I was making fun of like some videos, you know, just some bullshit banter shit. But back to the Italian stallion, bro. That shit did not take off whatsoever. I'll, I'm gonna be honest with you. I would have kept it for like Reservoir, like maybe maybe like a second channel, just in case like anyone's trying to like look up Italian stallion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's something that like I feel like at least later down the line, when you're just thinking of random shit, you could stumble across. You know what I mean? Yeah. As long as you're like the original owner. Yes. I mean. But then again, I don't know. There's a lot of shit out there, so maybe people aren't like. I don't know. I, I'm actually like pretty early on in the whole process of like starting to put my name and face out there like this is probably going to be one of the first yeah. things that i share of like me doing something content related which i plan to do you know throughout the year it's just most of it i've been making like behind the scenes like keep it to myself until i'm ready to drop yeah a lot of people uh really um for people that do know you or through me and, or that are about to see this um you know when it comes to the starting process thing, also with my last friend, uh, a lot of people that I talked to, they were like, oh, I didn't know he makes music, you know? You know, shit like It'd that. It'd be like that. It takes time to make music, man. But if at you the don't same know time, me, you will. But at the same time, too, people are like, oh, like, like, and what type of music you trying to make? Like, and, like, does it sound good? You know, people are so iffy. And also at the same time, you're, you're kind of just like trying to be in that creative process of like, well, I don't give a fuck of what people want to hear. I'm just going to make what I want to make, you know. So, as like as a, somebody that was going to start making music, I kind of like reached out to all of my friends and was like, "Look, I'm going to send you some shit." And I feel like your natural response is going to want to be like, "You know, that shit's fire. That's clean regardless of stature because you want to make me like feel good or something." That doesn't do shit for me. I told like all my friends, I was like, Crit- "Criticism is like key for me to like make shit that sounds better because sometimes you know i just i make some shit and then i go to bed and i'm like yeah it's just fire and then like the next day i load it up and i'm like this shit's trash it's just like what am- ass. <laughs> like this shit is ass bro like i gotta just start over you know what i mean yeah and so it's like i've come a long way since i started doing this like i started doing this about a year ago and it's crazy how much i've been able to learn like in a year like now i kind of uh-huh. feel like i'm like a, a beat king 
vocal is a different story but a beat king i can make a beat in like couple, like i can make a beat in like five minutes bro like no problem um and so it's like getting you know started on a lot of this shit is weird because like you know oh, yeah. you're not used to like what other people are going to think about what you enjoy so i sent it yeah. out to my friends right you're telling my, me yeah exactly you're telling me bro imagine me coming up i'm sorry to cut you off no you're good but but like my my videos that i put out you know exactly what is you go like what you're describing right now is the start process of what i went through is like uh well what type of i'm gonna try to make something that 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 people understand you know but then i i started was like uh well i'm just gonna make something that i like you know and then it hopes that other people like it too um i.e i like making my own versions of montages uh, mm -hmm. with certain songs that i feel like damn dude why is that not made yet you know or some shit like that then i'm like okay i'm gonna fucking make it to the best of right. my ability you, you ever you see that suicide boy song where they fucking they cover over um that that naruto like fight between him oh. and sasuke right oh and bro like everybody knows. On, everybody yeah, right i like i've always thought to myself and this is like a thought that i've had for the longest time and now that i make a music like this is a goal and i will do this like with perfection no one's ever done that with like avatar versus like fire lord ozo you know what i mean like fucking why why that's such a fucking insane fight to know oh be done. oh that's okay. why i'm like okay I that's why i'm like you gotta like that's just gold waiting to happen but then at the same time i guess there's like a lot of animes and shit and there's a lot of badass fights that probably could be dubbed and it's really i've only ever seen like there's a few. quality yeah i've seen a few but i mean like quality i've only ever seen suicide boys like nail it you know i i've uh not even like like yeah like if if people know my channel though too uh, I've had one I've tried making one of those mm -hmm. uh, one of the little AMVs they're called AMVs for people that don't understand AMV stands for animated music video uh, for things that normally do not have a music video you know so uh, what the fuck is this shit Sorry. I've always like. I've always questioned you because I know you got to edit the shit out of it, obviously, to make it fit like where the drops are at the right place for the song. And so I've always thought to myself, like, do you get the timestamp on like the overall video of the fight first, or like do you just make the song first and edit it later? Like, where where do you start in that thinking process? Um, right now, I haven't like because I want to get the album out, hopefully, but like mid year, or end of year for sure. Um, so I've been like more focused on like what I'm going to like drop drop but at some point that is a project that I want to tackle because I want to like sit down and I want it to be like one of the cleanest edits I ever make which I don't make many edits so I'm going to make more edits in the future obviously I'm trying to make like a highlight reel of my clips right now and I gotta say like props to you dude for editing all these videos that you drop on your channel because like editing can be a bitch sometimes oh man I'll, I'll tell you like I can't fucking uh <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting a letter away. Okay. Uh, why did you ask why I make edits? <laughs> no. Or, or how or how do I make them? Please keep this. Please don't. Oh no! No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm uh, no, you're good. No, I can't. no, I know. I just that question was funny to me. Uh, so basically, what I was saying is like editing shit is really hard uh, oh I tried, I tried putting a bunch of my clips together dude and like like putting it in sync first of all where like you want to line it up the way you want to hard enough as is when you start trying to add like effects and stuff and trying to put like a music timed overlay to that you want to have like fucking drops and shit at a certain part that's hard fucking fuck. it's for me for me it's really like patience yeah i don't have that patience. Uh, over time bro i've i've had to master like patience in like other things so like i've kind of mastered it like so i used to be a lifeguard right mm -hmm. and like i would literally just sit there i couldn't look at my phone i couldn't do nothing i'd have to be just patient and just watch sometimes you know and and you know sometimes i'd get the time to you know look look off you know grab a drink or whatever and you know take a break but like it just took a lot i that taught me patience in itself so i try to apply that through a lot of other bullshit that i do throughout life just relationships you know fucking work um 
editing especially and editing to start out because like I don't know it was a concept that I just kind of had to get over like damn I love these videos that I've watched and they're so fucking cool I can't imagine you know my 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 edits are granite like they can be uh, S tier like I have the potential to totally push and be like those phase montages those hard ones and everything like that <clears throat> but for me right now it's it's uh it's impact and response you know for, so i'm gonna start out with something small until i get the uh, the correct amount of following as to where like edits need to be you know top tier where i'm getting like 2k plus an edit you know no matter what i'm only getting like 100 or something like that maybe 50 if i'm lucky but imagine putting out an s tier fucking edit like a phase montage type type thing then you can't fucking get this the proper response you know your shit's just kind of sitting there with like 50 views it's kind of upsetting because i've had videos where i've worked really hard on in the past and where i'm like damn like i kind of wish like you know people saw this one more like this one is in my opinion is really good you know this is a sleeper video this is a i've worked really hard on this edit you know i wish people really saw that and I've gotten a response on a few of my videos recently, a lot of them, but like, you know, yeah, no, I, editing is like one of the hardest things ever, especially with the, to go into specifics, timing shots and everything like that. I'm going to let y'all know, like, this is all kind of like self-taught, like as I go through out all this, like sometimes like the other day I, I looked up, um, like on my most recent edit, I added a glow effect. Yeah, it kind of looked off. I probably won't do that in the next one. But, like, um, I had to look up how to do a glow effect, really, and, and have it look right. And Dude, that's how I am with music, bro. Like, I, I, I've tried to make a, a YouTube channel before. Not to, like, interrupt you or anything. No, but no, no, no. It's, it's, like, a video of me um, back in, like, high school. And it's, like, look, I don't have, like, much original music made. But, like, I know some covers. Check this out. da 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 da, da. Yeah. I play a little song. And then I talk about, like, you know, what music means to me. And how I'm going to drop more shit on my channel. And then that's, like, the only video. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I kind of, like, that's kind of what. Yeah, that's kind of what my Italian stallion. Was. I think I might have to revamp and start a whole new, like, an actual Soda Jock page. Um, and probably talk. It's got that and a couple wrestling videos of, you know, me and some of my amateur matches back when, yeah, like, yeah. you know, freshman year with Damien's on the sideline type of shit. Yeah, fucking yeah. um and so like those probably keep like sentimental value but i hope no one ever finds that actual change <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a separate channel that's like you can lock them you can lock them and you can just oh, yeah bad. you can save them for yourself and if you ever want to log in like you know just save them for private view i think for like 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 what you're saying about like teaching yourself though i think that's just the best fucking way sometimes like i have uh for example i hope if he sees this i'm sorry I have a, a good friend of mine that's recently recommended that like I work with like his producers. His producers like really fire, and I listen to some of his stuff. I'm like, wow, this is really solid. And it's not that I'm like trying to yeah. cheap out and not pay a producer route. Yeah. I'm still honestly contemplating it because working with people that are more experienced might be a good thing. But there's also this like arrogant side of me that's like, no, dude, you can just fucking do it yourself. Like I, I want to make an intro, right? And I'm making that intro song, and I'm kind of working some lyrics for. It. I like how that's going. It's familiar territory because I've been doing this long enough. But I also wanted to add like an animation to it. So my stream intro has like a little video of like my song that's just made for this intro purposes, and you know like a quick little animation. So I, I looked up on YouTube like uh, they have this like Adobe character animator now, and it it's pretty self sufficient. Like there's a lot of shit you can do on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm over here like I want to learn how to do all of this shit and see if I can't just like make my own animation, make my own intro, and do all this stuff like myself before I try and like outsource because I feel like learning a little bit of everything yes. will be helpful for someone that's trying to just make a fuck ton of content by, you know, the future's time, I guess. Mm hmm No, uh, outsourcing for content and shit like that, like I've also, uh, like I've ran into like one of my other little streamer friends that, uh, you know, is like, oh, I'm paving, I'm paying people on Fiverr to edit like my intro or pay for it or like make an intro for me. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I could, you know, if I really wanted to apply myself, I could put myself, like, out there on Fiverr it's, and make It's a struggle because like also sometimes you just, you aren't good at, like, the thing that you want to just be good at, you know what I mean? So it's well, like. Well, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to. When wanna, you cave kind of stuff, yeah. I don't, I don't want to be, like, so 
eventually what I <laughs> a lot a while back I said you know three years ago maybe four years ago I said I'm gonna I want to go to college or something like that to learn like video editing or some sort of video editing classes I was gonna take a video editing class but I didn't take it uh, obviously because I was like no I'll just I've seen people that that get successful through self-teaching and their edits are fine you know or if they really need help and need an edit done then the, I guess they'll find an editor and pay them you know and if that ever becomes a case where I need you know something done really well then maybe I'll find an editor obviously but I'm not at that point yet to where I need to spend that money you know for that to happen but at the same time going back to what I was saying uh, being a video editor you know wanting to go to college for shit like that I guess since I mean I don't know how Fiverr works but I guess you can be like self-employed basically just editing people's videos you know so imagine just being handing people all right here's the files show me what you can do with them please and you know I remember being younger being like man I would love to just kind of like be so a part of like a video editing team like machinima's editing team or like mm -hmm. this uh, group called funhouse or I, I grew up watching these like you know gamer channels where they would edit like you know news news like up for upcoming video games and like you know do fun little like side side games to like you know keep the viewers like you know watching it was funny and like integrating IGN you know uh, shit like that and I just remember being like damn I'd love a job to be an editor but like I gotta learn how to edit you know so I gotta learn how to be a pretty good editor so right now all of this is is like through personal experience all my uploads my funny moments my montages uh, my podcasts are purely just like experiments and a uh, process of me you know my progression as I get better to you know hopefully a god tier editor one day one day I will get a better software you know I'll, I'll fucking be making you know other famous people's videos one day or something like that you know because that's just normally like how it works you know people you know, got their own little thing going on, and then other people catch on. They're like, hey, you know, would you like to edit my video? You seem like you're pretty good at it. And obviously, that w editing takes a lot of time and, you know, commitment. So, for me to do that, it would be, you know, balls to the wall. You know, I would need to stay up nights, I guess, late. You know, but if I had to go work in the morning, fuck. Fuck me. I don't know. I don't know, but that oh. time hasn't came yet. But I would love to. So, I uh, I guess I'm in like a fortunate enough situation with like you know everything being well off enough that I have a lot of free time to just like make content and shit. But I, I gotta say, I think like my my large scale dream has always never been to be like a musician or be a rapper or whatever the fuck I'm gonna call myself. But I'm done making music, so I make a bunch of shit. Um, it's never been to just be like a content creator either or someone that's like making a lot of original content because I do I want to make a fuck ton of original content my like overall dream is to one day hopefully have like an entertainment company that I continually run right that's not just like you know me releasing content and making you know whatever the fuck I can get out there because I think you know I just want to create as much variety as the word entertainment you know defines yes, yes. um but i also want to pull up like other people you know what i mean like like exactly. if you're like really good with no. your edits and shit nick i want to hire you one day like, i want to have like motherfuckers that i see that are putting no. in the work you know what i mean that are like getting the shit done type of shit uh, and that are actually like making quality shit i shit. want to i want to you know here here in our area where where we stay uh here in tejas, tejas. Uh, you know our, our like the potential for for the youth for like a young a young group like us. There's a lot of young people like us around in this area, right? Go to Seventh Street, go downtown, um, even over here over here in our area. I won't disclose, but like you know. So I do eventually one day. I don't know when. It obviously right now. I I have to you know work to get to the successful point you know financially and uh you know personally i guess you will i would like to you know there's a bunch of like buildings around here and shit that i feel like we can make into like media business uh social like a 
uh, not like social media business, but like you were saying, like some sort of some sort of media business, you know, like edits, you know, or, or all around. Needs live music, man. That's why I was hoping to have like just an all in one one stop shop. One day I want to try and own like a venue. Um, and like I was hoping to one have something that I could use as a venue for like you know like live music to be played and stuff like that and events to be held but also like a, a station that i could start like working on outsourcing from as well mm -hmm. place to like like meet with new artists and shit like that like uh a buddy of mine right now is trying to start it's not like a rap group he's trying to start like um the kind of like what i'm thinking like a content creator like-minded organization yeah where a bunch of individuals That's that are thinking I, yeah. the same way yeah they're trying to do the same shit he actually just recently and like invited me to that and i was like shit honestly I ain't got shit else going on. Like, fuck it, why not? Um, Those things are really tough, though, you know? It's like... Yeah. I mean, he's already got a pretty established, like, little following. He makes some pretty good shit. Young Decker, if you want to check him out. Um, and that's why I'm kind of, like, I'm, I'm leaning a little bit more into it than I think, like, I would be. Because I, I, I kind of felt like the direction of where you were about to say, like, you just... It, it, is it worth it kind of thing? I don't know. I think it might be. Well, I mean... Uh... To go back what you're saying, Fort Worth, um, I will say Fort Worth definitely needs more arts, you know, and, and arts, uh, a social arts uh, district, uh, for like mm, town like, area, little, where little do you, square. Where do you go to see live music? You go to like. Well, I'd like, I would Dallas, like something. Right? Well, yeah, but I would like something. See, I went to a concert in Fort Worth. I went to a place called Haltom Theater, right? And Haltom Theater, it was really chill because I was like, holy shit, like, like this is an actual out-of-state out artist coming here to this little spot. I've never seen this spot in my life. Smallest fucking little grungy theater. It looks old as fuck, but it's still running. And I guess I'm not sure what runs it. You know, I'm not sure how that stuff is normally ran. You know, the logistics behind, like, investments, you know, what keeps the lights on in that place. Because there was a bar in there. Uh, there was like you know outside you know but there was like this big square like inside area you know stage area bar in the back go get a drink you know whatever but venues you know venues bars uh, i guess that's what those you know those bars really turn into is like venues at the end of the day I feel like as like a nicer more populated city like one of like the bigger cities especially like as in, in the entire state it's it's like lacking a little bit because you have like the bass hall right you have money that moves around uh fort worth like you have like the the bass brothers some really rich motherfuckers that come into town they watch their plays and shit at the theater across from the cheesecake factory and there's nice restaurants here and there and it's a nice place but mm -hmm. i just feel like by like not really having like like mainstream no artists, incentive yeah yeah, yeah. people yeah, inc like incentive for youth to go out and like witness some lies music it's just a whole demographic you're missing and it's like a city and maybe you're trying to miss that maybe you're trying to keep everything all organized because i feel like fort worth is you know definitely like a lot cleaner and as more like uh like, you look at the grid pattern of the streets it's all box formations all the people are gonna be super friendly there's security guards on like every corner of the streets like i get kind of like what they're going for but i, I still feel like you're missing like an entire demographic of people and revenue even as a city by not having like a quality place to play some live music especially as like a bigger city that just never has made sense to me I don't know. the the thing though is like you know, like we have those states though like for that reason i guess is like what they'll tell us it's like all right well you want to go experience the social aspect and you know, go to okay, Dallas. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess. But even if even if that Dallas isn't even as like, yeah. But there's at least like some place. I but feel it, like there's nowhere for. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, there's only a few. I've, there's a gaming company, granted, based out in Dallas. I think there's two out in Dallas. At least I know a few streamers and pro gamers are based out there in the American Airlines Center. Uh, there's Envy Gaming. Uh, you know, an actual office center. And I met an electrician that told me that he actually worked at those offices and helped set up, you know, all their, like, little outlets, power strips, and everything in there. I was like, holy shit, that's dope as fuck. So you went to the Envy Gaming offices at Air Airline American Airlines Center, and I was like, dude, that's crazy, you know. And just to hear that that office has been built tells oh, me yeah. ins tells me inside, <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, there's, this is a step for, you know, 
not so, just gaming culture but also like social culture and if in at that so if that office gets out there and gets some sponsorships and there's already one in Houston I get that and I know there's no necessary need for a Fort Worth team but I would mm-hmm. like us as more so like a representation I guess I don't know yeah exactly what you were saying some sort of uh you know clout gang i guess you know like a, a social us a, something to put us on the map man yeah i guess you know you know uh, how people say yeah put people on the map you know put my city on the and, map uh, you know like here's the thing like, I'm, I'm, I, hate, I feel like i'm talking shit a little bit because it's like there's a lot of places in texas I, i'm probably gonna mention like just in the thoughts that i was thinking of like i was saying something oh, no, about yeah. dallas earlier and like I, i'm about to say something about arlington but it's like I, don't, I just don't have much to say about Fort Worth. Like, I love Fort Worth. It's my city. I love people here. It's, it's a very business. clean, livable place. But it's This is just... for the business people, bro. Exactly. This is but, for those investors, those fucking business owners, those people that want to fucking scam, have already gotten their money from their mommy and daddies and, and then Fortune 500 companies, have it established, buy some rented out buildings, get all these apartment buildings built up. Let's get a bunch of apartment. Let's build these apartments up. But what what the fuck else? Not we oh, got a bunch charge of two thousand dollars a month for a one bedroom studio that's like four hundred square feet. <laughs> and, it, and it, it'll be the same over here. Yeah. All these apartments that are getting built, they be looking nice as fuck. But I swear to God, man, they fuck me in the ass. I am Dude, not okay. doing that shit by myself. So my my buddy Bryce used to live like just on the outskirts of Fort Worth, and he was paying mm-hmm. like. 13 1400 a month for his place and that was like his portion of like a split rent because he also had like two roommates some shit and i thought at the time like this is ridiculous you're paying like way too much money bro since then i've seen that like that exact same place places are just rising and rising and rising per month on like cost to live here it's always fun with californians man sorry californians yeah, because you got a lot of money you bring it down here you be cheap to live here i witnessed it the inflation is real <laughs> Here we go, talking about politics again. Nah, nah, fuck politics. What I was going to say about fucking Arlington, though, what I, I wanted to address this because I thought this was fucking awesome. Um, I heard, like, a while back that they had, like, made, like, an esports area out there. Oh, no, that's yeah. Gonna, that's going to be fucking sick, right? I go to a Cowboys game, like, uh, what was it? Uh, the one where they played... Well, they played the Cardinals, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, but when we were leaving the game, I was really fucked up. Like, it was the Cowboys game. I'm going to get fucked up, win or lose, Weedon boys. Mm. And we're driving away, and, like, we passed by, like just this random normal ass looking building i see on the side like it was like like arlington esports or some shit but i almost felt like tears coming to my eyes i was like it's really here it's beautiful it's 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 everything i could have ever wanted it was a big ass building bro it's i want to go to like events and like see if i can like join tournaments that are locally you know what i mean if they're gonna have a building for it because like fuck yeah oh um dude i i don't know i guess that's a a dream though of mine too but that's what i'm trying to figure out in that space how you get into there you know i guess i i would have to go up there and ask and you know see where i can fit in but like i feel like it's it wouldn't be as hard as, as long as like you like reach out and talk to the people because like for example my buddy but how financially like, stable hold on, let, let me let me cut you off here yeah, go ahead. there are things that that keep me from doing that though it's like how financially stable is that business in at that mm-hmm. and as of right now like so if i wanted to go to that arlington center and be like hey man like you know what do i need to do to get a job here like even if bro if i have to scrub the fucking toilets be a janitor at a, at a gaming center bro Cool Con- content inside me is is nice really shot, what, bro. <laughs> yeah content inside me is what i is what i'm looking for in in my main goal in life you know um i could give a shit about money but obviously i need money yeah ha- i was gonna say you have to care about it at some point yeah but that's what i'm saying so right now i'm obviously grinding just to make my financial funds so i can achieve my my main goals in life quicker uh you know all this bullshit about like fucking you know, I, that's a different topic for a different day, different podcast. But be like I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that for my blue collar podcast. <laughs> Heard that. But, um, but you get what I'm getting at. Yeah, you know, it's I like know. A, I. it would be a dream to at least somehow be in that space. And, you know, and then eventually be like, oh, hey, you know what? Uh, hey, I, I stream. Hey, I make videos. You know, uh, I can edit some videos you if y'all want. See, you know? there was... um. My buddy Tyler was telling me about this. Um, do you know that there's like, and because you were talking about financial stability of it all, and this is what it made me think of. You know, there's like 
other Rocket League tournaments that aren't like the RLCS and shit, right? Like they're not the Rocket League like, Championship Series yeah, where the like, pros play, right? Apparently they have like college leagues and shit. So like for example, like UNT has their own Rocket League team, yeah. right? I was talking about like fucking trying to try out for. Apparently, I mean, some of the teams have like people that are like around our ranks that we expected to be like way higher. So yeah. you know maybe there's a shot. I don't think he's gonna do it, but sorry Tyler. But um, he was talking about it. And he was like, yeah, there are people that have like signed up for this shit, done this shit, that are around our rank. They go through, you know, the whole process. Say you went attorney, there are people that, like, months later haven't gotten their payout from, like, a tournament they won. And so it's like, do you trust, like, the events that are being held as, like, a competitor? You know what I mean? Like, because all this shit's kind of, like, underground and newer. If stuff like that's, like, happening in multiple places and you're not getting paid for, like, months on it, it's not very, like, reliable source of income. So I don't know. I've always thought of like like I yeah. want to compete in like a tournament winner league. I don't think I'm good enough to like win a tournament, but I think I'm yeah. just want to compete one. No, I think I'm good enough to play. That'd be fun. But that's yeah. the thing, though. Competitive. There's a difference between gaming. All right, leisure gaming and competitive gaming. All right. So what you want to try to do, obviously, in the competitive aspect, winning tournaments is your main financial fucking goal. You got to train. You got to really fucking be like on the game 24 7 serious like i know it's a game but like fam i'm trying to win this 100k cup or whatever it may fucking oh. be there know? are some fucking nerds out there dude that's why i'm like i'm i'm in between i would rather compete at a local tournament because i don't think i could be at like a, like a high league tournament yeah. because i've i watched well, the rlts there. like literally just yesterday all right and I, I saw some of the shots they were shooting and this is me a person that's played this game practically like since it's been out and i know life this shit and i train and i do all this shit and i i think i've come a long way since i started and i look at like from where i started to like where i'm at where i'm at to like where the pros are from some kid that's been playing for like two years type of shit and yeah he's just he's just better there are so many kids that can my do friend things that sauce. like i can't even fathom you know my yeah, friend sauce uh, I think I played Sauce once. Sauce yeah, beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said he was he was nasty. He's pretty nasty. But and, like they added a whole nother league, you know, like my whole goal was grand champion and I'm over here in champion, you know, like trying to get the grind. Yeah. They added Supersonic Legend and it's like yeah, fuck yeah, my yeah. dreams, fuck my aspirations, I guess. <laughs> I will say that like going back to the competitive and social aspect, you know, that's why I'm like I'm semi you know, I'm I'm like kind of good at some games, but like but like I really just do it just to have fun. Yeah, the so reason like, I'm gonna stream is because I think people would think me and my friends were gaming is fucking hilarious, not because exactly. I think anyone's well, actually yeah. gonna expect me to be like great at the games I'm playing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. All the shit that that's exactly why I upload. You know, is like I think the shit that we do is fucking hilarious, and I need to share it so we can go back and watch it later on and laugh. And okay. most of the time, bro, like I've said this, I think I said it in my last one, but I swear I am my, like myself, I'm my own biggest fan because I go back and I watch Same. my videos a lot and I'm like, yo, like that was hilarious. Why is this not everywhere? <laughs> for real. For real. I, I, I finish gaming sessions sometimes and I'm like, I wish like this was recorded. Like I should just record this. Like this was fucking gold. But I and feel I, like that's a lot of people though, too. True. True. And, and, and that's what's tough. But at the same time, we can't, like, we got to be like, oh, well, that's what I do right now. It's like, I'm going to fucking record it and put it out there and just see what happens. Do you, do you, let me ask you, do you watch many streamers? Like other people stream? Uh, I can't. So ho I got homeboys that, like, literally sit there with their second screen open and have the Twitch stream, like, running just on the side. Uh, I can do that sometimes, but, like, most of the time I don't because I'm like, Man, that's just like running my PC unnecessarily. <laughs> like, I'm not really paying attention to it sometimes. Well, sometimes, sometimes I'm like, oh, sorry, continue. No, well, but it all depends on who and like the type of stream it, it is. Like, yeah. Uh, probably most recently, a, a streamer that I really fuck with is like, I guess, Aiden Ross. Aiden mm -hmm. Ross is hilarious as fuck, but that's only because like he like hangs out with a lot, a lot of rappers. I watched him do the, the Kanye West and, and Drake concert stream. So he his reaction to that was like hilarious and at that like on the on the side, and just because I didn't know where to watch the concert, Aiden Ross is gonna stream the stream stream like what the fuck like yeah sure, I'll watch it, but like no like consistently that I'm like that I can champion, 
like, yeah, the, I'll champion some, but, like, I won't say, like, no, I'm not always in their streams 24-7 because it's too hard. I don't think I, like, live in anyone's stream, but I've, like, watched streamers enough. Um, like, other people stream while I'm, like, you know, say I'm fucking doing the dishes or some shit. I've got to cast up or I'm, like, eating lunch or some shit. Oh, no, yeah. I cast up, right? I've watched other people and thought to myself, like, like when I've seen like the communities they've built and shit like that of people that just you know, are feeding off this shit like this shit is hilarious like I see that same banter and I don't say like better but I mean like it's pretty fucking hilarious with me and my friends I feel like it would it would be well off enough to just fucking try it worst case scenario people hate all the content you drop yeah, and yeah. you just drop so yep. many rise of it hopefully you make something good eventually I don't know I think that's my philosophy something, on entertainment something will hit that's kind of like the thing about like entertainment like it's like you gotta you know, I'm not going to take a shot at you, but, like, you haven't put any music out yet, right? Not yet, not yet, because okay, I'm not so, trying to fucking bomb. <laughs> okay, I'm well, trying to make a, sure it's perfect. Okay, well, you're going to bomb is the problem, problem. you know, and I Maybe bombed. Bomb. Like, you don't... Oh, God, dude. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, you know? When you risky Michael Scott. So. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you have to... You have to at least put something out, and obviously, you want to make it good, and the shit that you've sent me so far that I've heard and from coming better. over. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely progressed. I remember you starting to tell me you were like, all right, I'm starting to make music. And you're like, it sounds like video game music. And then like Beep, just a couple days ago, you sent me some shit where you're actually having some vocals behind it. And it's sounding a little Travis Scotty. It's sounding a little, I feel a little like fucking legit. I took like a year to learn how to make beats and learn like I, every question I had that was like, you know, how do you do this? How do you do this? I started trying to learn from like people like my buddy Derek, for example, that knows how to do this shit or YouTube of motherfuckers that have, you know, are just explaining it step by step, right? Beat making, check. The reason I'm not like dropping content and expecting you to drop content like right now, right now is because vocals are just an entirely different animal. That I have to learn, like, you have to find like how to how to find the sound. It's so much harder than everybody like, has I to find a be. sound. Yes, a voice. Yeah. They have and to it's find like, a... you ever hear yourself like recorded, and you're like, I oh. sound like that. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> I'll probably feel that way after watching this as well, because it's like sometimes I'm annoying as fuck just talking, <laughs> and like I gotta. Oh, you tell me. Double listen to it. You know what I mean? I and can't tell I, you. I can't tell you. Going back and listening to my first podcast, having Bridge. to like proof proof listen and make sure like everything was all right and sounded good. Going back and listening to it, I was like, uh, I was like, dude, this is the worst thing that I have to do, but I have to do it to make sure it's okay. I'm gonna sit through an hour of my voice, and I'm gonna have to do that here too. See, but probably probably the first person that I'll ever pay to edit something for me. Mm -hmm. Is to edit a podcast because I do not want to sit here for an hour and listen. You just gotta re-listen to everything we just talked about, and like regardless of how long this is, you're doubling that time. <laughs> yeah, and because there's gonna be cutouts, you know, yeah, and, for sure. and shit like that. But uh, no, yeah, you got it. Going back to your music, uh, the the putting the putting shit out there. It's so tough about arts, you know rounding the whole fucking conversation up I feel like arts need to be like way more paid attention to especially in Fort Worth because you got people here that put out tons of shit but don't get the quite recognition for it you know if there, if there was that that media center gaming bar slash uh, office for you know actual workers and people to come up and, and see just like a big ass TV screen of like, fuck it, like my YouTube video or or streamers, a, cur a current live Fort Worth streamer or or other streamers around the world, you know, type shit. If there is something like that, I I can envision that in myself, like in the future. But like, you know, we gotta gotta have investors. You gotta have you gotta have a following. And you gotta have fucking you gotta have the connections. It's tough, but, like, yeah. eventually, in the future, though. It's just patience. I think my attitude going into all of this is, like, just straight Kanye. Like, I saw a video the other day of Kanye that was, like, uh, it was him playing, like, you know, his uh, older tape. Oh, potential stands calling. Anyways, he's playing, like, one of his, like, you know, older tapes, right? And he's fucking with it. He's trying to get signed on this label, and this lady's just, like, 
looking at him. Some other people walk in, she starts talking to them. And Kanye's like, fuck y'all, he takes his shit and like, leaves, right? And like, when I say like, I got the confidence, I feel like, uh, of Kanye, it's because when I drop all of this shit, maybe some shit I drop will be horrible. Maybe some shit will be cringe. But I'm just going to keep rolling yeah. with the punches. And I'm going to be so That's in me. your face. Like, I'm the best shit you've ever seen in your life until I die, always. So I think with that mindset, if I do bomb, like, if everything just absolutely goes to shit, I'm interested to see how I'll handle that. Because I'm still, like, I feel like right now, like, my confidence is over the fucking moon. Like, I think I'll just keep running with it, which is kind of, like... I feel like maybe I'll be like in my forties, like okay, get a real job eventually if it doesn't work out. Yeah. But until then, bro, we're steamrolling to our forties, dude. <laughs> wow. You know, I, it sucks, bro. Uh, not to get like, uh, here we go, getting too deep. But like, I'm with you. I'm with you because like, yeah, I gotta roll all this shit out and whatever hits hits. You know, I'm at because like being in real world versus Nikki J world. So there's Nikki J land and then there's Nick land. You know that? It's like the Nikki J land is the kind of land I want to stay in, that that realm. And I, and I still got some real world aspects part of it. But like when I, my first company, bro, um, you know, that I went to go work for my first electrical company. I, uh, you know, me being new and green, young guy, they make fun of me. I'm around a bunch of older people, you know, construction. You know, it's, you know, hard-ass motherfuckers that think they're, uh, that think they're the shit, you know, just because they can, you know, just because they got three divorces and, you know, maybe a felony and, like, you know, they're out there doing the fucking work for another dude that under. So, anyway, that's besides the point. Either way, young guy, me, so one of the fucking workers, it's kind of young. But, like, they're, like, really talkative, like, with the older older fellows, you know, right? So they're, they say, this is as we were building our new office. They were, they're like, hey, you know, uh, you know, Nick, uh, he has a YouTube channel. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and they're, they're, they're talking to my boss, right? This is my boss. And I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. And they, and they pull up on their phone. And they show the video of me getting shot with paintballs to my boss, and it, and it's me and the 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 singlet, the the fucking wrestling singlet at at a middle school field where I'm just getting shot with paintballs just because I got a hundred subscribers. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> and my boss is just like, and it, and my coworkers like, you hired that. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, it was it was I've, embarrassing. I, I like, kind of okay. So growing up, I was like super shy. Like I didn't talk. I just shut the fuck up. Like you, you probably like flashback to like high school. End of high school was around when like my metamorphosis happened, bro. But like most of high school, you knew me. Like I was kind of like Samson. You were to you yourself. Know, I, I'm, I, I'm to myself a lot. You know what I mean? Like I, I interact with like, my really close friends. But at the same time, like I was that way with like a lot of fucking people like to like everybody i'm just like really like shy and cut off kind of shit and then uh i realized that uh high school was not the peak of my life uh and then like i just kind of like turned into this fucking social butterfly you ask motherfuckers that know me now and i have like fully embraced this new persona of just soda jock it's so hard like it is just who i am now i fucking murdered anthony back when i was like 18 and now i'm just straight like soda i walk into like genuine work atmospheres like back when i used to work in the restaurant industry and i'm like you know i'm teaching a wine class and i'm accidentally getting my employees drunk and i'm like scram like you gotta get out of here before the boss sees you type of shit i'm fucking talking back i'm talking smack like i don't care who you are i don't care how established you are i go to like sell cars and shit and i'm like you know I'm like i'm at my desk and i'm like you know talking to my boss and kind of just call him a fucking like dirtbag and you know saying some stupid shit right and it's like they're yeah, not yeah. gonna fire me because i sell enough and i can just kind of like be myself so much like in your face yeah. like the reason i want to make like music and drop it and say i'm gonna be like in your face and stuff is because that's just kind of like, how i am i feel like a lot of people that know me yeah. well enough just know like i don't give a fuck if you like me or not yeah yeah fire yeah, me no. bitch i work harder than most of y'all like so. well there's aspects to you know i have that. zero professionalism i have well, a that's... tattoo of mr poopy butthole on my arm and i used to like serve people and they're like what's that and i'm like 
it's a cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, you know... <laughs> fuck, bro. Going back to the real world, you know, exactly like you said, met, like just totally embracing that that persona. I can't do that myself, dude, I, and I want to soon, but like I kind of got to stay in both realms. And obviously, like there's no there's no real real like fuck you, I don't care how how you feel about me, you know, type shit. It's more so like like yeah, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you know, like like this is me, you know. And if you if it's what you get like you're gonna get the stumbles you're gonna get the fuck ups you're gonna get you're gonna get me mad you're gonna get me banging my desk you're gonna get me fucking uh crazy ass insane montage shots you know to music that you never thought you'd ever fucking hear you're gonna get shit that you've never seen someone else do because like i do it in my own way and in a way that you were saying like fuck you like this is me the social butterfly type shit it's hard for me bro because like i've been i've been humbled though like like that I, not to a way like i've been humbled too much to where i'm like eh, i'm not gonna totally like personify you know this right now so that's why this is like all laid back like hey this is welcome to the podcast you know we're sitting back in our own rooms you know Whenever Nicky J fully comes is whenever he has the full set, when he has the table set up, two mics across, we're sitting across from each other, we're in the fucking office building or wherever the fuck we're at, and and I'm editing videos every fucking day, I'm recording during the day, editing at night, just 24 fucking 7, trust that the grind will, that grind will come someday, jumps. but like, that's, that's the dream, but obviously like, you know, gotta fucking... Gotta keep other people like. Well, I don't have to, but like. See, I just don't believe in like the niceties, man. Like I've always, I've always just dealt with the repercussions because I humbled myself too. But I didn't just humble me. Like I humbled like everyone around me. Because when I thought about it, you know, you start to question existential existence, and you're like, holy shit, we're really just fucking like weird meat bodies in a floating rock in space. It's not that serious, bro. Like, you can just fuck around a lot. And I started seeing, like, all these streamers that do, like, bit comedy and banter amongst themselves. And I'm like, I like that so much. Like, I've started I implementing shit, it yeah. into, like, my real life. So, like, say no one's watching. Say there's no cameras on. I'm a fucking goon, bro. I do stupid shit I would all the too. fucking time. And just because, like, why not? I, yeah. I mean, I would, too. But, like, I'm in, like, a... Yeah, I need to get out of that, well, it's me slump state, you know. And, like, I've been I've been there, and I've gotten out of it, and I've been good. You know, I've been in those, you know, those instances where I'm like, I right, yeah, I kill shit, you know, left and right in every aspect. When I step out that door and I go to this fucking job, like, I'm a kill shit. I, and, you know, I've had that, but, like, it's just, like... I don't know. It's it's a humbling thing, you know. And you see, uh, from seeing it in construction, like every day, I because I see motherfuckers that that are like that, that embrace whatever persona they are, some sort of boss, especially like my boss is like a boss for me right now on a site or something, just to make him like you know save face and look like a boss in front of the next boss that comes in, you know. So, but that's a different topic, <coughs> different podcast. I do want to say though. <coughs> I guess uh I guess I'll say it here while we have time. Announcement for uh Nikki J fans and anyone that knows uh me personally. Um and I guess for you too. Uh I'm currently in the process of planning to move out of Texas. Um I can't you know disclose too much specifics as of why, but um I do want to move up to Michigan. Uh, with the boys that y'all saw in the vlogs in the past uh, and get them out of their mama's basements and you know back to what we were saying earlier with that little you know media you know type thing like you said I just I think my friends and I are so fucking hilarious if we all got in a place together we'll all just do our consistent little work and keep the place you know upheld right and I keep uploading with us we gonna have a fucking ball that's the goal the only goal that I've had set in my mind these past couple of months is like, yo, quit spending your money on pointless bullshit like food, stuff in your fucking face and shit like that and video games. And I've done pretty well, let me say. 
quit spending your fucking money, save it, find a goal, chase it, and achieve it. I got job opportunities up there, ways to live up there. And, you know, I think like leaps like that should be taken in life. I think like, for example, I talk about it all the time. Like I want to fucking get the fuck out of Texas. Like I love you, Texas. There's no nothing God, against yeah. Texas. It's no. just the fact that I've been other places now. I've seen what the world's like. And it's like, I want to see more of it. I want to get the fuck out there. Exactly. The world's a big, beautiful fucking place. And I want to explore it. Like there's so much shit to see. And I think the only thing that's like really tying me here right now. And this sounds like shitty, but it's just, it's truthful. Is like, I have my grandma here and she's, you know, she's pretty it's old. Family. It's family. And it's family. like. I don't want to miss any of that time. Like, I don't want there to be lost time. But I think, you know, God forbid something happened in the future and not disrespecting the rest of my family. It's just she's exactly. like one of the most important yeah, ladies yeah. in my life. Ah, something happens there. I'm going to fucking take off. Like, I love you guys. Um, but I'm sure I could figure it out somewhere else, too. I've been figuring out here, like, long enough. Like, there's plenty of shit I want to see and do. And I feel like sometimes people are like, but no, like, you're my friend. And it's like, yeah, I'm your friend. Yeah, yeah. You should want the best for me. Like, I want to go see the fucking world. Like, there's some crazy shit out there. Yeah. Like, I've been to fucking Chicago, and I've been to, like, like fucking in the middle of the woods in Delaware yeah, on yeah. a lot of things that I probably shouldn't mention right now. And, like, you know, I've, I've experienced different places and really cool things. Colorado, I just got back from, was fucking awesome. And it's like, why would you just want to sit still? For me as a person like i think you should travel and travel young anyone that may see this that is anywhere near our age group travel young it might not fit the budget but you can figure the budget back like, out when you get back because the experience is once in a lifetime like that money will come back and you will find a way to figure it out that's kind but of if, what i'm trying to yeah keep it now exactly you know, you know like, if you're not doing it it's never gonna happen and you're gonna be that guy that's no offense, I'm not taking shots at you or to whoever you work with but i feel like that i saw this a lot in like the restaurant industry where there's like you know, some mad old dude that's you know still working in the restaurant industry and he's been there forever and he fucking he's just tired of it and he thinks like everything should be a certain way because it's been a certain way forever. Yeah, yeah. He's worked in the restaurant industry for like fifty fucking years and it sucks. Yeah, yeah. That won't be me because I'm gonna go fucking see the world. You know what I mean? You just gotta do it. And if you don't yeah. do it, you're never gonna do it. You gotta, like I said though, you know, there's there's tons of aspects. You know, there's lots of things. Um. Going back to what you said, I want to do, do say, like, like I'm a Texas boy through and through. I fucking love Texas. Texas pride. And, uh, but it just, it's just, this ain't, this ain't no way, no cry for help. Let me just say that. But, but I'm going to just say this and then straight up, this is kind of how it's been for me the past something years. This is Nick talking, not Nikki J. So listen to this. It's just kind of fucking sucked here for me personally. And not only here, but, like, also outside of the world as well. Things that don't direct me, like, like, affect me. You know, that, it, what I'm trying to say, though, is, like, I've tried to do things here in life uh, by myself here. And so, it's that support group that I do not have here. And no shot to you. I know you're the homie. I love you. Trust. Trust that. But, like... I think we've had this conversation before where I've said, like, I've, I've been thinking about, like, you know, what else what else could be out there, you know. Obviously, I've, I've moved out, you know, and I've experienced life on my own, but I haven't fully experienced it, and I'm going to have to fall on my face a couple times more to fully, like, you know, grasp what, like, you know, true success and failure is at, at that. Because I don't feel successful here. Obviously, I have another job. I have great money. You know, I'm got a truck everything great blessed i'm got clothes on my back internet great setup i got a new pc blessed right but all this money like you just said money and moments and shit like that i feel like i've i've been here for 25 fucking years i've been in texas for 25 fucking years of my life and got it established here let's let's go on I want to like sidebar because I, I don't know who's gonna fucking see this if you're Go outside ahead. of texas and you know and you kind of feel like the same way about wherever the fuck you've lived forever texas is fantastic like, like no, I, no, I, no. I, I love texas but i totally like I don't want to where nick's coming from because there's just like like it's tough it's, 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 tough it's, it's thing. not just like an experience in texas it's like your own personal experience like you're like oh it's like sucked 
but that might have just been like sequence of events of things that happen. It's not Texas per se. Like we're not just shitting. No, on it's Texas not Texas. Doing we got Texas. we got some love for Texas in the chat. Like I already I already know this motherfucker loves Texas, um, and it's totally a place you should visit someday if you're like not from here. Because like I think there's, it, there's a lot of cool shit around here. I think it for me it's just like a like I said or like you said no it's not Texas that's that's fucked me over or anything like that. Um, it's just I've been fucked over in Texas. <laughs> yeah, it's it's exactly that. Like uh. You Look, know. it's a classic song. All my exes are from Texas. <laughs> well, that's too true, you know. Um, but for for me though, it's like uh, it's I haven't had a change of scenery in twenty five years. Obviously, you know, get it growing up, school, same bullshit, repetitiveness every day. I get tired of it. It's, not, it's for me. It's always being forced to do something that I don't want to do. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to fucking. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't want to fucking work. I felt, but I, but I work my fucking ass off because I know I have to. Um, don't want to fucking work, and it may be like that. I don't want to work here. I guess you know, maybe for something better. And that's why I know those people up there. That if they fuck with me and they want to have a place together and a place to call their own and continue to you know put all these videos out and experience you know friendship with each other and you know go do those things like that we did like with those vlogs and and shit like that if they want to continue that you know that they'll have my back and they've told me multiple times they're like hey yo nick like we got two places for you to work at here and if those don't work out you got places to work no matter what it don't matter we got your back just the homies like you know it's it's a it's a comfort thing, you know, and and I got people here that can do that too. Granted, but like, uh, I don't feel like putting those because I've grown up with these people because I've seen these people every day, you know, and that's a lot to put on them, you know, you know, it's a lot for me to to go all the way up somewhere, and if I fail up there and be like, oh well, shit, you know, it they know it's a lot. It it's a big fucking I'm putting everything on the line, essentially. Like, I'm telling, I'm gonna tell my job, like, hey, you know, I appreciate you. You know, I need my hours. Let's see how this goes. I'm, I'm gonna have to transfer my hours over so I can get a piece of paper that says I'm a good electrician. You know, so just there's a, tons of aspects, you know, to yeah. it. So, so it's it's at risk, and and having people that are, you know, supporting me in in that aspect, just you know feels fills me with like so much like i guess i don't know i guess love for those people yeah for sure so i want so i want to like you know achieve that goal for them so it's like all right and because plus the last time past two times that i've gone up there bro everybody's just been like bro you gotta like move here you just, we, we love you here we got it's fucking great i've literally it's so corny you know how you said you feel like soda jock when you walk in a room I felt like Nikki J when I walked off that plane. I was I was like, yo, this place is different. Like so, I did. to like to add on to that. Sorry, it, yeah, it, it no, no, you're good. No, you're good. Um, I just I'm gonna uh, pay you off at some point. I always do. No, yeah, uh, you're good. Yeah. So to like to add on to that, I feel like it is a lot to think about when you're first thinking about it. Because I thought the same shit. Like I think when I first like kind of started realizing I wanted to leave state, uh, it was around the time like when I started thinking, talking to like my best friend in the world. He's uh, getting a business degree, right? And he's trying to, you know, get like a big boy job in some like crazy city and you know mm -hmm. experience life. But like as like you know just as average old pal soda jock, at first I was like, my best friend's gonna leave. I'm stuck yeah. here alone, Because, uh, you know, we're yeah. like selfish people. We all think about ourselves first and foremost. Yeah. And like, I kind of thought about it, and I'm like, nah, like, good for him. You know what I mean? Like, fucking go chase whatever the fuck you want. Go do some shit. And I started thinking, like, okay, I may be obligated. Not obligated. That sounds really shitty. I may choose to stay here for my family purposes, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be held here my whole life. That doesn't mean I don't have the ability to leave at some point. And it, it's exciting to think about when you start. Like, I know how you're feeling right now because you start thinking about the possibility, and you just get fucking excited like if it's something that you really want it's something that you kind of lean into and so my advice for my friends or your friends because this is dedicated to these specific people that haven't like accepted that all your friends might fucking just take off and go somewhere else first of all 
We got the fucking internet. Don't pretend like we don't. Make some time to game with your boys when you can. That's all I'm saying. And We're second, always on the Discord. Exactly, exactly. And second of all, you, they would want that for you. You know what I mean? Like, just, just like you should want that for them. Like, if they're really, like, one of your good friends, it sucks. Sometimes people, you know, they, they exit your life a little bit. But how much they exit your life is entirely based upon how you react to like their exit you know what i'm saying like for example my boy tyler goes to wherever the fuck he goes to new york city or some shit and say i moved to like oregon or wherever the fuck i want to go we're still gonna be gaming i'm gonna hop on you know rocket league scriblio whatever the fuck the mood is for the day and it's it's about effort it's the same yeah. way you treat like no. a relationship with like a lady bro you gotta you gotta tend to that shit here and there but it'll be fine no yeah Everything here will be fine. It's just kind of like it's I went big. to a I went Sorry. to a fucking uh, two nights ago. Went to one of my friends' first little DJ set sets. Shout out Anubis. Uh, he he. Uh, it's just interesting. He's a, he's a real personal friend of mine. So we went to high school together. So from seeing him, you know, post on the snaps from go to the festivals. And being in that scene, in the festival scene, you know, and starting to learn, cause he likes all types of music. Like we bonded, like you know, through, uh, like, like through the SoundCloud era, like hip hop, like rap, all that. But like he's into like DJing, EDM type shit, like that. And you know, I fuck him, I I fuck with it too, you know. But like you know, obviously like to a certain extent. But anyway, so he's he's really fucking good at it, apparently. And uh, you know, last, two nights ago went to his set. Like I was saying, just that that process of seeing him, you know, network and talk to those people, get in those scenes with like all those people. I'm gonna have him on a podcast too soon. <clears throat> but um to see him, you know, just go to those little concerts. Obviously it's like a little it's like some sort of bar in Seventh Street, right? But it don't matter, it's still set time, you on the stage, people watching, right? He fucking, it's just that little seed, you know, seeing someone be in that space and, and just, you know, continuously <coughs> stick at it and over and over and over again. And here he is now. He just did his first little set. I told him, I said, bro, I give it another, I give it another year or maybe even six months. You're going to fucking be doing bigger fucking sets you're gonna be doing bigger festivals and shit it was funny though too after his set there was supposed to be more djs that played but everybody was literally there for him and they left after like his set like nobody was standing there i don't know if you ever been to the yard um uh, and fourth yeah some forward i think so i think so it's like an outside kind of venue ish type, I, th type I, think, I think so it was friday night and so uh yeah, he had his probably about a forty-five minute set, maybe thirty minute set. It was good as fuck, dude. He killed that shit. And I and you know, taking those uncomfortable steps, you know, he he just kept saying on his social media, like you know, I'm so glad I I put myself out there. You know, I took that step, that initiative to find you know that that angle to get in here, you know, and to have this opportunity. It all started with me, you know, fucking around on the turntable, mixing songs, you know, together. And, you know, and here I am now mixing, you know, these other mixes together and it sounds fire, you know? So, so it, I was just like, God bless. Like, yeah, it's, it's true. It's that he was literally, I was at his apartment and he was doing like little sets in his, his little apartment room. And, we would just fucking chill, vibe, have drinks, and, like, for New Year's or some shit like that. And, yeah, it's that process. And, obviously, like, it's those little jumps that we have to take to, like, you know, kind of truly find ourselves. And, like, when I left, obviously, granted, it was vacation. You know, you're working a lot. You're taking a break. You know, you're, you're, you're in your rest mode, right? Obviously, you feel good. But, like, this was a different feel good. I ain't never felt this good before. I felt... Like sh I would, big de big depressed, just fucking six a.m. every day, fucking to work and it's same bullshit. But I was just so fucking. Oh, before I went on my vacation, I got fired. So let me say that before I went on my vacation, I got fired from my previous job, and 
I had those vacation days planned. I didn't get paid for vacation. So obviously I was upset. So I was like, well, I'm still going on my fucking vacation. Fuck this. Yeah, fuck it. So uh, tickets already paid. There ain't shit I'm going to fucking be doing. Like if you bought the way to get there, I haven't been like financial situation didn't exactly go as planned, but I paid for the way to get there. You know what I mean? I'll go there broke. Like I'll yeah. fuck it. Like, <laughs> I'll, find I'll find a way to have fun off like a couple bucks. I'll like, find a way. Yeah, because and it was worth it every single fucking time. It sucks though, bro. You know. It does. It does let me it. let me just say this. You know, all of this would not be possible if we weren't single. <laughs> True. Gonna, yeah. If you got a girl, bro. I'm sorry. GG's for you. Like fucking your bank accounts. The, you don't have the. That's not even bank account, bro. It's the fact of like the opportunity to be like, hey, babe. We're going to fucking drop everything and go to Michigan now. And, you like, know? no disrespect to the ladies, but sometimes y'all just don't want to do shit. Like, it's not, like, a, like a be being intentional to be mean or anything. I just, I've experienced, like, when I'm back when I was in, like, the pretty long-term relationship, I wanted to, like, you know. Here we are, the ladies' here topic. Here. This is what and I've then, been waiting for. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, we're, we're on the ladies' topic? All right. No. I got, okay. I got to, first and foremost, before I tell any story, before I go anywhere, I just got to say be- this. This is this is a direct message to the camera, because I know some woman somewhere might see this. Oh, my God. I am not a misogynist. I think women are incredible, and they have the capabilities to do a lot of awesome things. But I'm also not going to like censor myself. I would disrespect anyone at any given interval based off what I'm currently thinking at that time. And I genuinely don't mean to offend people most times, but I have been called a misogynist, like a mystic motherfucker a couple times by some random lady on the internet because I had an opposing viewpoint. It happens. I'm not. I think ladies have the capability to do everything that men can do. Um, I just think they have like a different set of genitalia. I don't know, dudes. Like, look, I, look, I, look, look. Let me let me help you out here. Look, my original point being was is that because because I agree with you. Let me just say that, and everybody should know that. But this is a safe space. You know, this is a podcast. I want this to be a safe Bonk. space. I'm gonna talk freely. <laughs> so, but maybe the maybe the uncut podcast will be like for a Patreon thing or something like that in the future. But like, uh. No, the fucking, no, the ability, the ability to move freely whenever you want, though, is, is possibly it's, it's the a financial only thing greatest thing about being single in my, in my head, because yeah. I would hate to have to be like, hey, babe, because like, bro, you know what sucks? The day that I was like really going through my head and like, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to set this as a goal and like continue to do this? Some... Uh, old little mutual uh, girl that I know is like, hey, I, I have a friend that's like single and she's like really cute. Like, she th- she thinks you're cute too. Do you want her Snapchat? And I was like, I was like, bro, I'm not trying to build anything here right now because I don't want to fucking put anyone through that like yeah, type like of attached if you're gonna possibly yeah. depart. But obviously, like you know, you want to come give me a little smoochy smooch or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I ain't gonna. <laughs> I think as a dude, it's totally like okay to just be upfront about that. Like, I'm not really looking for anything, so know that before we pursue something. If you want to well, pursue because something, that's great. But I intend on getting the fuck out of here. You know, seeing the world, doing the unless shit. you want to get the fuck out of here with me. <laughs> you know, that's that's the that's other thing. I don't know you well enough to know if I want to like do that yet. That's gonna be this. I have no promises. Is all. I'm yeah, saying. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's like I, I don't mean that in a shitty way, but I also like I kind of I realized something from my last like long term relationship. Um, it's that sometimes you may feel like you're doing the right thing. Maybe you're not. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I was like, I'm gonna marry this bitch a hundred percent, and look where a hundred percent has gotten me at this point. You know what I mean? Now I'm no, like, yeah. I I didn't even realize. I love I didn't you. Know? Yeah. Let's not talk about those days. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, I, I realize uh, now that, like, I didn't even know myself back then, especially as, like, well as I do now. Like, now, knowing who I truly am, I can confidently say, despite my desires for having a little shoddy and settling down with a little shoddy, it's not going to line up anytime soon. I'm mm. going to have to kind of, like, just put that out there for any possible partners. It's just, I'm doing, you know, I'm no, 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 no. for a little bit. I got I to gotta do soda before I determine what the fuck established life is going to be. No, that, yeah. That's because I want the freedom to travel. I want the the money to have that I'm only spending on myself. Like I I selfishly spend all my money. It's either benefiting me, paying my bills, 
or buying me just some stupid shit that I want because I fucking ball and like I felt like it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and it's like I'm self centered, but that's the point. That's why I'm staying. Like, oh, that's not the only reason. I mean, there's probably a couple other reasons, but it's one of the main reasons I like being single. It's yeah, nice. yeah. No, uh, I I'm with you 100. percent I will say uh, the the finding yourself thing is is a real big thing for me. Um, you know. I don't want to get like too deep, and this wasn't one of those like sappy podcasts that I wanted to like necessarily make it. But don't cry, Nick. But no, no, yeah, <laughs> this is real. No, this is really real. It's like you know, I've, like I said before, you know, I've I've been I've been through it. I've already you know experienced what it's like, you know, to be out here on. On my own, have my little girly friend, you know, live in my own little apartment and, you know, whether they see that I tried or not in that relationship aspect, that is up to them, but I really tried to make something out of it, you know, not necessarily a future or anything like that, but just something to call my own, you know what I mean? And an establishment, like a a base, a support group, someone that I can talk to after work, blah, 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 you know, bullshit like that. Obviously, here, for me, is multiple reasons, is because word gets around too much, if you're, because most of the time, I'm going to be honest. They just know each other. Okay, well, (laughs) no, but most of the time is, like, how do you meet someone? It's, oh, I know somebody through through somebody. It's through mutual following. Meeting someone. 90% of the time. News. Weird. No, it's, it's not, well, it's considered weird now, but also... You know, it's like stranger danger is what we've been taught our whole entire fucking life, you know. And obviously here we are, COVID season, you know. You ain't got a mask on. You vaccinated? Like, huh? Like, what? Like, you see, like, tons of... There's tons of aspects to it right now. But the... that, Like I said, you mostly know know someone through someone. So, like, you know, relationship falls out. I know at least like six girls off the top of my mind that my ex talked to. <laughs> like, and then those six girls tell at least three other girls or like loosely through loose conversation, you know. And obviously it don't matter, right? But. I, oh, you've heard of me. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you know, but like, what have you heard? And are you gonna. Deny, are you. Are you curious? Are you. Are you gonna put any sort of stock towards it? You know, and it. And obviously, yeah, that shit don't matter. I don't give a shit about that shit. I could care what less anyone thinks about me let me just make that clear but it becomes a problem because i'm not gonna straight up go to someone walking down the fucking aisle of kroger and be like hey hi how are you my name is nick you are very pretty we should exchange phone numbers (laughs) oh you're just trying to buy macaroni my bad because it doesn't fucking work like that lady on the pasta aisle what you doing tonight (laughs) all right yeah because it doesn't fucking work like that I, it do, yeah, it I don't. You. you at the fucking yeah. line of Starbucks? I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. I also, you know what? You can't go to the gym no more. I can't go to the gym. Obviously, you worst it's place to fucking. It's crazy how like past shit follows you. Like I, I have a, a problem. I'll just, you know talk about it because I actually like. I feel like some people would think like knowing that the inside of my situation like he doesn't want to fucking talk about that no i would love to talk about this i would love to clear the air on this. Uh, so i do oh, yeah, hang on i dated it's fine i can cut out shit if you want it if it it's it's not gonna be that horrible okay I, the video was horrible but it's not that horrible okay so i dated this girl that i knew for like probably an entirety of like seven years like we met in like early middle school type of shit right by the end of our actual relationship that lasted about like two years, which we totally shouldn't have gotten together in the first place. It's partially my fault because I was like, just you know, I kept shooting my shot, and eventually it worked. But probably, I probably really shouldn't have done it that much. She probably wasn't even trying to like, you know, make something happen. But by the end of the relationship, things had gone south. I'll put it like that, right? And I used to work at uh, a Red Lobster, right? And then like she worked there as well, and I wound up going to like a different restaurant later in life. Um, and she still like stayed behind and worked there, but we were still together. And then I noticed like the people that I used to hang out with from that restaurant, like 
kind of stopped hanging out with me. And I thought I was, you know, like you move on in life kind of thing, like I'm just going other places. This bitch had been telling lies about what happened behind closed doors at our home when nothing was happening because I was working all the fucking time, right? And those lies spread to people that, you know, I knew. People I'd established, like, personal relationships with, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, now I'm in the point where I've met someone that has heard of me from a rumor that's been spread from this person to this person to this person that, like, I could be like, oh, look, I can show you. Like, I should confess to it at some point. This is just bullshit. Like, these are, these are real-life things that follow me around. It's crazy that, like... That has to be like a factor in some shit. And that's another reason I will stay single because some of you ladies are fantastic, but some of you bitches are crazy. And I know some dudes are terrible too. I'm not like saying all dudes are rock, but I don't know. I've had enough bad experiences to say that like it's okay to be alone sometimes. Like, hey, you oh, learn yeah. to you learn to have some fucking cool times when you get comfortable with it. You know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, fuck, Nick. I said I wasn't gonna do it, but. I'm just in my Minecraft PJs, you know, I'm just chilling the casa, watching some anime, and, like, ain't nobody telling me what the fuck to do. Like, I don't give a fuck. Honestly, honestly, like, ain't nobody can tell me to fuck, the, I mean, tell me what type of clothes to wear, what type of shit to do, you know, I mean. And, like, maybe somebody should, because, like, could I afford to, you know, like, dress I, up? I don't mind that. Order, like, cuts away, like, yeah, probably, but. I, I don't mind that, like, could I, I could dress better, and that's kind of, like, the great, those are the great things that. That relationship. My style is a gray shirt and a fucking taco hat, bro. I wear this shit with some jeans and like I'm sold. That's my outfit, bro. (laughs) No, you know what I'm saying though. Like, like the they bring like I will say the great thing about women that they do bring is like for me personally, any time that I've been with a woman has been like personal growth. Like I've always wanted to, you know, achieve better. At at least through uh, my personal, huh? Did you say griff? Growth. Oh. I think you're trying to say grief, and then I think you said griff, and then I just, I just had to no. jump. I had to stop everything and hear that no, again. My, Sorry. <laughs> no, like, like, uh, like goals out in life, aspirations, you know, and shit like that. You know, just better for myself, carrying myself better. And like, I don't hold hate in my heart. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. I this don't, isn't like, the women bash towards, No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah I, I don't have hate in my heart towards like anyone, like fucking at all. I mean, I actually have hate towards one person. That's my dad. Fuck that guy. But everybody else, like, I legitimately don't have the ability to hold hate in my heart. It just sucks when like, like, there's so much that resonates in like your area that it just feels like you're saying like you know the same people. You know, like, uh, oh, this girl you're talking to, like, she went to like Central High School, like, you know, down the fucking yeah, yeah. street, and it, it just doesn't. It doesn't feel interesting here very much anymore, and like that sounds shitty to like the ladies around here, but it's just also, also h- hate to cut you off, but I bet you most of my homeboys and I are probably trying to talk to the same chicks, and yeah. usually, <laughs> usually, worst way to talk to chicks, but the only way that I've, oh man, just became really fucking misogynistic. The only way to talk to women. Or at least through my experience, through like social media, you know, just like through the DM, you know, and be like, "Hey, shouty." That's you know? the worst way to talk to women. Well, it's I, not the I, worst I'm way, not. but like, it's the only if you know them and they know of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just ain't gonna be like, okay, well, maybe to a random stranger, and they follow you back, and then that's a that's a safer way of approaching someone. You're just not. What's safe now, you know? That's yeah. the only way to do it, as opposed to like you said, walking down the macaroni fucking aisle, being like, "Hey, shouty." <laughs> you know oh you getting the cheese too <laughs> yeah you know what I'm saying see okay when I said that I said that from like a personal place and like my personal experience the one thing I should say I'm not getting like a thousand bitches or anything like it's like my phone isn't blowing the fuck up with chicks want to know what I'm doing where I'm at type of shit and you so it's like a lot, yeah. yeah no I'm probably not the, the I'm not gonna like flex on nothing that I got you know what I mean like it's not like I'm adamantly trying for one but it's also like it's not like it's happening so when i say that's like the worst way to talk to women i guess what i mean is like yeah you, you gotta understand i approach a woman like i approach like a dude like i'm going to just first and foremost you're a human we're gonna be friends you know what i mean like if it avel- el- like evely escalates that's what i'm saying yeah escalate to something more like great but if not i like to make women feel safe around me because I know that there's a lot of reason that women don't feel safe around dudes and so it's like my first thing for <sighs> first and foremost, is like you gotta think I'm cool right so like let's just be friends I friend zone myself before you even get the chance to half the time and so it's like my yeah. problem is I build a like, large rapport with people and then it goes somewhere 
and it's like that doesn't necessarily mean that person's like the one or whatever and there's like yeah yeah i don't know there's just too much history sometimes in it, it there's a lot of weird. there's a lot of aspects you know and yeah. uh <laughs> you know just back to what we were saying originally about you know the freedom of movement and shit like that i will say uh, the main reason why I'm leaving Texas is not because of women, you know, as well. But, you know, there's done, there's there's a few women that I could take shots at right now, you know. I won't say who, you know what I'm saying. But, uh, but you know. Uh, I got one. Okay. You're thinking about whether or not you want to say whatever the fuck you're thinking about. Right? I ain't, I, no. But, uh. What I, what I'm trying to say is is that uh, I mean word gets around. That was my original point, you know, um, and not that I have a terrible relationship, you know, uh, with anyone here. I don't have any problems here. No, nothing like that. All our relationships, I would like to think ended all right, but you know, I don't know because <laughs> it sucks, man. I wish like. I guess there will be another topic, bro. All my, like, well, for better reason, obviously, and it's for, like, my mental health sake. If I've ever been with someone, I am not, like, looking at your social media, fam. I'm not, I'm not, you know. I'm, it's toxic. I'm, it's just gonna, it's just like that, that it's no, no area. for your own health, regardless of whether or not they're doing anything, like, shitty on purpose, you know I'm what I mean? I'm gonna click on your you? account. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna be wondering what you're doing, where you're at. I'm gonna be driving myself insane, and I don't. You need just gotta to disconnect that. and stop giving a shit. Like that's I know, the, no, like, no, yeah. It takes a while to, for me to like hit that point when I'm like leaving a relationship. I feel like, but when you do, it's like clerical. You're like, oh but, shit. Like, I should. But there's a point of me yeah. like now since I'm in my adulthood, or at least I would like to say I'm a little bit more grown, not adulthood, but like we're grown so, now. We can. Uh, we're grown now. The women are probably in relationships. You know, like, can we just, like, you know, like, we were humans, you know, we were friends at some point before, before we were, like, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, I mean, yeah. like, I want to know, like, you're doing good, I guess, but obviously, I don't, I, this ain't for everyone, let me just say that, but, like, at some point, I can't care, like, all the way, but, you know, just that sort of natural, like, you know, like, communication like being able to follow someone on twitter or something like that or, or facebook yeah i get I mean, that because it's for for me it's like it's like nope block fucking nope you don't get the ability i mean sometimes it's like you want to try to talk to me nope nope no way See, it's like i've been okay and out of all the relationships i've been in right there's like two of them in which i got really 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 fucked over and i would totally be putting these two people on blast or say something right now they know who they are those two people sorry about you if you see this uh, don't talk to me like fucking like fuck you like I, it's just it's just, i don't really feel like we were friends walking out of that but there's a lot of like like for example i don't know if i should name drop i probably won't you name probably drop. shouldn't there's, yeah i won't name drop. there's an ex of mine that i think we're really good friends like I, I would say right now like she's dating some other dude and i i'll send her some snapchat of my music sometime I'm like what do you think because like when i first started oh, like man. like starting to believe in myself she was like i think it's really cool that you're like making your own shit you know and like pursuing what the fuck you want and like da, 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 da. And, can like, i ask I you have, a like, question you know, good rapport go ahead why do you uh, why do you talk to her and why do you show her those things she's my friend it's as simple as that. Like, I literally, I view this okay. person as, like, someone that I want to be, like, old and still, like, holy shit, you're still alive with me, we're old as fuck, like, what that's, up? That's kind of what I was saying, yes, yes, but also at the same time, to go back, yeah, I, I'm not trying I, to I, dig I, at I, you, I'm, I'm not trying to dig, but, like, there are people, like, because I'm, there are people, we gotta think about putting ourselves in other people's shoes, you know, being like her man or current man or whatever what the fuck why you got your ex in your phone you know because well, th that's been a normal that's a normal conversation let's get that forward that's normal to be like i think it's hilarious like there's an inevitable point when you're a sensible guy that just tries to be like a pal with a woman that gets in a relationship there's there's one of three scenarios that's going to happen right and every single event that ever happens regardless of whether or not you've had something it's just going to happen every single time either one 
she's just gonna like stop fucking talking to you because like she just like she's just cutting off dudes bro it just happens like that mm -hmm. whatever you know I, I get it i understand whatever do you think i'm not gonna like impose on your life mm -hmm. scenario number two she doesn't necessarily cut you off and you both understand mutually that you're just friends and shit and eventually you get like a from the boyfriend text right and the boyfriend's like yo stop hitting up on my girl and either he's gonna like try and block you or some shit or you just gotta you know i like for real i have a, a friend of mine that i was one point attracted to is now like with this dude and like i'm friends with that dude now you know what i mean like you just don't impose your will you don't yeah. be a fucking dickhead you're a fucking adult you know what i mean and you're like we're just friends and it's like if you don't want me to be friends so hastily dear said girl you should probably like reevaluate that in your own time but that's on y'all like i'm not gonna yeah, give yeah. your shit you know what i mean mm -hmm. and then it's like or there's scenario three where everything works out peacefully and like your pals and like i for example i just went on vacation where i stay i was a seventh wheel i stayed with three couples bro and it's like yeah. i'm friends with all of them i was hanging out yeah. with some of the girls individually and just like talking banter and talking shit you know what i mean and like we're just pals and i don't understand why that's such a hard concept for some dudes i think it's like their own little insecurities that like expose themselves but i can't say i haven't understood that at some point i think when i was younger i that used to bother me a lot more now i don't give a flying fuck uh, well, that's I think because it's you've like, you've became easy, easy. you became contempt with the thought of yeah being alone. Like, okay, if you're gonna settle down with a lady, right, and you're gonna have like your own little shoddy, and she's got like a good friend that's like a dude, are you gonna be there beefing about it? Uh, no, because I all right, there are factors. Let me just say this first because I've I've been through this. So my first girl that like I was ever with, and like I lost my virginity to this chick, right? Um. She had a good, like, home boyfriend, and they went to fucking Six Flags together one day. And it wasn't me going, though. I was just, like, at home or whatever. But she went with him, and because she, and I let her go because she told me, like, this is something we, like, normally do. Like, here, look at the pictures. Like, like we've gone to Six Flags with each other in the past. I've been, like, with another dude, and he's kind of, like, he got mad at me for it. But, like, I went, and nothing happened. And so, I, I'm like, so y'all have been friends? So I gotta make these in, like inferences, and you gotta do the math. You gotta do the science. You gotta be like, so y'all been friends? You would have tried to fuck her a long time ago. So I'm not I, tripping. I've been cheated on twice, but I gotta say, walking out of those, I mean, at the time it's just more like I haven't okay, been cheated to my knowledge. Well, exactly to your knowledge. I'm, I mean, I'm a pretty wise guy. Uh, in, intuition carries itself to like obsession, and I hate that period. I don't. Fuck anybody that cheats. I think you're a piece of shit. Just that, and say that. Just break up with a motherfucker if you don't want to do it. Piece of advice. But anyways, so I've, I've been like post-mortem, like walking out of situations like that with like trust issues and shit. Yeah. And I'm now at the point right now where it's like, I don't think I'll walk into something new just not trusting. I think I just got my guard up like a little bit more. And so it's like, okay, if you fuck me over. Like, fuck you. I'm the yeah. shit. Like, I'm just going to move on yeah. to the next motherfucker. I might be sad for a little bit, but it's like, yeah, plenty of fish in the sea and like. Yeah, I'm gonna hook back out there. Exactly, exactly. I was tr trying to be keep that same mentality for me too, you know. I mean, uh, so it's just. I mean, it'll come. It'll come one day, you know. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, then you know I'm gonna do coke off a stripper's ass when I'm rich and famous. You know, it is what it is. Name dropping the <sighs> power drug. Sorry, I saw it in Wolf of Wall Street. That's and, you know, fine. I ran with it. Fine. <laughs> At least I can put it in the tags now, I guess. <laughs> Coke. <laughs> Not the Coca-Cola products. No. Uh, <laughs> man, I don't I don't know what to say. Uh, we're rounding up, bro. We're, we're getting close to two hours here. I mean... Jeez, you've been two hours, bro. We've been babbling, bro. Well, we've been babbling, but, like, I, for, I forgot to start the timer. And so we're already at an hour 13 or 20-something right now. I thought I saw you, like, start the timer at some point in the beginning. Did you not start a timer? No, I didn't start it in the beginning, no. Did you so we... you definitely opened the app to start the timer. No, I, I – oh, well, I did earlier. I didn't okay. just now do it, but we're at, oh, an hour, okay, okay, okay. we're at an hour 13 or something like that now. Yeah, so, I don't know how long these things usually go. You, you tell me. No, I'm... man. Um, like I said, second episode, you know, I will say, like, I've – do you have anything you want to talk about personally before we round this up? Mm. I was actually about to ask you the same thing. I wasn't expecting you to ask me first. Let's see. 
What was like topics, Every- anything popping, mm-hmm. you know, want to get, get okay, their opinion Okay, I saw on. something fucking hilarious, and uh, I just, I think everyone should see this. I'll go retweet it on my so- at SodaDuck Twitter page. That's going to be one of the f- fucking first things they ever tweet. Uh, I saw this fucking video true. earlier of this lady that she was like super fucking pissed off. Like she wanted her fucking ranch at McDonald's or some shit. So she like got out oh. of the car and drive through. I like, didn't go in there. Man. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. That was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. I tried to. Oh, I love the internet, man. But on these viral videos that be going around, when something I see is like being like visually like viral. Not my ranch. Exactly. Like that ch- do you know when someone's like just trying to be viral? Like, yeah, just no, trying for, sure. for a moment. All these fake viral videos piss me the fuck off. No, Not- I know, I know what you're saying, but I also like I was just adding like all the fake ones. Oh, no, 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 fake ones drive me insane. But you got but you kind of got to know at some point. Yeah. But the, the you remember the Gorilla Glue girl? Yeah. <laughs> she she's been playing off of that a lot, you know. And obviously she got lawsuits, you know, going towards them and, you know, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, you put yourself out there, like on the internet like that, people, to some extent, you know, embrace the meme, you know. Yeah, they remember you as Gorilla Glue Girl and, like, if you want to run it's with it, a lot. so you just run with it to the best of your ability. I get why people do it. And then I just, that's well, why I get off the internet. <laughs> because people see that it, it visually works. You remember Terrio? Mm-hmm. You don't remember say, ooh. Ooh, oh, kill him! The little uh, and he yeah, was dancing. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, oh, he he's grown up now, and he's living out in L.A. and he's got like personal trainer. He's got a big following on Instagram, obviously, and I don't think he has like a real job or anything like that. He just does like the occasional viral video here and there whenever he's, you know, acting or whatever it may be. Yeah, but he may be a streamer or something like that, you know, but. Mm-hmm. Literally, people will capitalize off of that one internet moment, and then they'll try to write it all the way. And I will say, you know, sometimes I'm not gonna, I won't, I won't to, like fucking kill you for it because like, if I ever had a fucking a moment, I try to capitalize off it, at least to the extent to for my voice to be heard. You know, for people to be like, oh, okay, so this is who this guy is. This is what he does. Blah blah blah. Let's look more into him. He's a real person. Blah 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 blah. Let's support them in these aspects. Maybe you like my videos. Maybe you like my music. Maybe you like da 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 da. That's what those people do. It is crazy though to me to see like, because I think for sure going back to what you were saying about the girl for her fucking ranch. I haven't watched that video specifically because I know like she's she's going in there, shoes off, and I get she's upset, but like she knows it's gonna be a moment. She knows it's gonna be on camera. Oh, she fucking fool goes into it by the Anyone? end of it. She like when she's climbing out of the window, she's like twerking and she. <laughs> Bro, like, I feel like to live in these times, you gotta be aware that there's gonna be a camera everywhere you go. Yeah, and and like for you to like, it, it disappoints me because we we put a lot of people in the light that we shouldn't. But like at the same time, like I get it. You want your ranch? Go ahead and make a scene. Fucking ranch. Whatever. You know, it's just like, is it worth it? <laughs> like, when, like, when does the self fucking like realization be like, oh, I gotta go to work tomorrow? <laughs> I let those people come to those realizations of themselves, and I treat everything that's a meme just as a meme, and I'm like, oh, oh too, rich yeah. girl. <laughs> oh no. I yeah. uh, but yeah, as far as like. I like wrapping up subjects, man. I could fucking babble about shit for hours. So if we could start oh, on no, something, yeah. I'll like another like 30, 40 minute tangent. I oh, do no, want to yeah. say something. Take a little, little second to the camera. Two things. First thing, name Soda Jock. It's pretty, pretty memorable. It's going to be on all platforms. I would follow the platforms without any of the content being released yet because you will see when it is being dropped. The reason it's not being dropped right now is because I want to make sure it's fucking pristine. But if you want to give me a chance based off watching this shit, I'm going to make some pretty groovy shit. If not, you might stumble upon this after I've already made it because I will fucking may make it. We got Kanye confidence up in this bitch. Second and foremost, thank you, Nikki J, for having me on the podcast. It's been oh, fucking man, awesome. I love about. fucking talking. But I will say, if you've just seen this podcast or you've seen like a couple of the Nikki J videos, I would watch fucking all of them. This motherfucker comes over to my house. like, you see my new video? I'm like, no. And he sits on, throws it on while we're sitting on the couch because, you know, I'm a shit friend. But at the same time, 
we watch the videos and I'm over here like that was fucking awesome that was hilarious you hit this crazy shot or like just whatever the vibe of the video is I walk away thinking like this is good content I want to see more of it and it's like you see all these other motherfuckers that are like making YouTube videos and shit that are like I noticed that out of all the people that are viewing my videos they're not quite subscribing click the link and subscribe yeah. and I, you know, I, I, I get not subscribing to like fucking everything but fuck those people we the best subscribe to soda jack subscribe to nikki J. this shit's gonna yes, go sir. fucking hard yes, give sir. it some time bro yes, sir. that's all i gotta say all righty well y'all know what what to do already all of the links to the socials for soda jock will be down in the description down below soda jock again thank you for being here thank you for having i love me. you my man you know what this is gonna be this is gonna be a journey i can't wait to do the next episode you know this is a good one so. Hopefully the podcast keeps it rolling. That's why I wanted to be on it, bro. I want to be on it again someday. If it, you know, like you know, obviously it just keeps it going. Just keep it up, man. Do you and don't ever stop. Fuck anybody that says otherwise. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what you should do. I'm gonna try, man. I'm gonna try. Oh, yeah. All right. Also, this man's a beast at Overwatch. Check out those. I haven't Overwatch played clips. that game in forever. That's a dead I game. I don't give a shit. Go watch the dead clips. It was amazing clips from a dead game. <laughs> Thank y'all. We'll Peace see y'all next time.